Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, I am 3DEX. So in this video I'm going to cover how to optimize and keep your substance the signup files um, readable so that other people can work with them. So before I even show you how to go about that, uh, we have to first discuss why we want to make sure our substance designer files are clean and optimized. So the main reason is as the more complicated your graph gets, the slower Substance Designer also gets. So you'll notice that once you have a large number of nodes in your graph, uh, your Substance files just starts to get really slow and even just previewing on something starts to get pretty slow. So you want to make sure that uh, you clean it up a little bit so that it's, it performs faster as you work with it. Another reason you want to make sure your files are clean and optimized is because you want to make sure that other people that work with your files know what's going on and they can work with the files without having to you know work too much and having to figure out what's going on with your graph so you want to make sure that your files are readable and optimized so right here I have this graph of a stylized almost hand painted look uh, brick or well it's, it's, a, it's just a material that I made and uh, this material particularly is not very complicated, it's really simple actually. But if you look online sometimes when people post their uh, substances, and you see their graph and it's just like an insane amount of nodes, uh, which is nothing wrong with that, but uh, if you want to share that around with people, you want to make sure that it's a lot cleaner than that. And so to do that, what you want to do is you want to consolidate your nodes so that you don't have as many um, in one graph so this is one graph and to consolidate nodes what you can do is um, take a bunch of them and create another graph within our graph so like I'll show you right now so let's see I'm going to let's make this into a node and so what you do is you select the nodes that you want Obviously, you have to think about which ones it is that you want to make sure the um, that you want to consolidate, and then you do a right click. And what you do is you create a graph from selection. In this case, I have nine nodes selected, so I'm going to convert nine nodes into one. So let's do that, and then you want to make sure you give this a a, a good name. So in this case, mine's going to be a flop fill uh, with multi switch or just with the switch so click on that and as you can see now here under our file that new node showed up or actually a graph it's not necessarily a node so you go in here now and then here's our group of nodes that you can now if we go back to our original so now we can drag this in here and this is one node now Obviously, you're going to notice that right now we can't connect anything, so we have to make sure that under our node, we let's see, let's input, add some inputs here. And then you can you can name these as well, but I'm just gonna duplicate this and then just connect them real quick. And then you want to have an output node so that you can actually get everything out of here. Okay, so now that's done. Obviously, you can name these as you want. Um, I'm just going to leave them as default for now. So now, as you can see, here's that node. And then I can connect these pieces. And then I think I had a multi switch on this as well. Let's see. Okay, so that was input four actually. Let's see. Oh, so this one goes down here. Oh, 
OK. And now I can connect this to where I had it. And now we can get rid of this nine nodes and just delete them. And as you can see now, we only have, let me connect this back again. So you can see here now we have one node replacing all nine. And you can also add more functionality to this so that you don't have to go in here every time. For example, this is a switch. So what we can do here is under our input selection, we can switch to expose this. Input name, let's see, let's call it input selection. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so now we have exposed that parameter from our multi-switch here. So if we go back, this is going to make it easier for us. As you can see now that is right here so that it is exposed so this is my uh, switch and now we don't have to open up this uh, this graph to get access to our multi-switch node now we have it through here as well so okay so so that's that so as we can see we consolidated nine nodes into one which is going to allow our graph to be much cleaner. And we can always even add, for readability, we can add a, uh, a comment to this or a frame. So for example, under a comment, we can just add this. We can explain what this is actually doing. We can say this is a graph. This is a graph with a flood fill in a multi-switch node. So there we go. Or we can just uh, explain what this is actually doing and what what you should be using it for. You can you can add nodes as you as you like. So as we can see now, we have that, and we can essentially do the same thing for the rest of our nodes. We can consolidate. A bunch of nodes into one or two I mean essentially we, we could even consolidate a bunch of things but obviously we want to uh, do this with uh, nodes where it makes sense so let's see maybe there's another place here where we can do something like this So let's consolidate this one and let's make a graph. This is four nodes and we're going to name this small uh, rocks or something or stones. Small stones. And then open that graph and then always add an input and an output. You always need to add these or else it's not really going to do much. So there we go. So let's go back to our master. And so now we can add this in here. And let's see, it looks like this is connected through here. And then that. And then we can get rid of these. And as you can see now we have this and as mentioned earlier you can go back in there into the graph and expose different parameters so that you can have access to them over here under the instance parameters and essentially this is what is what you're going to be doing when you are optimizing your graph you are consolidating nodes into a smaller number of nodes uh, where it makes sense of course you have to make sure that you are actually making sense in how you group these together and you can do the exact same thing with color nodes and uh, so yeah adding nodes and also let's see there's also the um, add frame where you can group together nodes 
for example in this case is uh, shapes let's call these shapes uh, for different shapes here that I can choose from and so yeah that's exactly what I wanted to cover with this tutorial so I hope that's useful as far as creating and cleaning up your node your graphs um, this is super helpful when someone else works on your graph so that they can actually read it you can always add nodes um, frames and everything and just consolidate your nodes so that substance designer runs a lot faster so yeah if you like this tutorial and I don't know if you like the material that you're seeing here and you want to maybe get access to it as well uh, there's a link in the description for that uh, if not just hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you i'll see you in the next video thank you do you want to learn how to make stylized assets check the link in the description below and i will show you how to model in maya sculpt in zbrush how to retopologize a model with maya uv map it and then texture it with substance painter